In the uh, first video on hypothesis testing, we realized that the central limit theorem applies to our problem. That is, if you took millions of uh, samples uh, the size of 100 and looked at their means, their x bars, all these x bars would form a nice normal curve like this. Okay, and what we do with the uh, and they'd also have a standard deviation of 0.13 degrees. We can use this formula approximately. Remember, 0.13 degrees. It's not exactly true because we're using s instead of sigma as a substitution. So uh, we have that situation. We know we're assuming the mean is 98.6, and we know an approximation for the standard deviation. And, and the question we ask ourselves is this: If it really is 98.6 what's the probability that I would get a sample that would be this far or farther from the mean in either direction? And all we have to do to determine that probability is find the area in this tail and double it because there are two tails. We have the area and that's the probability of getting a result or an x bar that is farther uh, that far from here to here or farther uh, from the mean. Uh, and we we do that in the usual way uh, you know, once you have the mean and the standard deviation, it's very quick to uh, determine what this area is here from here to here, right? And uh, the way I do it, I, I use what I call a short chart. I can find the uh, area under the curve uh, from the mean to any point on the curve with a short chart. You may have one that is m bigger than mine and, and works a little differently. But when, with mine, I can find this area. And if I take, this is half the area from here on out forever. If I take that and subtract the area, and that'll give me the area here in this tail, multiply it by 2, well then I've got what they call the p-value. So I look at this thing here and I say, wow, yeah, it's a, the distance here is a 0.25 degrees, and that happens to be 1.92 standard deviations. I look that up in my chart, and I'll get that area. And there's how I do that. I, I get the um, number of standard deviations by taking the distance, 0.25, and dividing it by the size of the standard deviation. And from the z-table, I get an area of 0.4726. And then I plug in the formula, and I get approximately 5.5% as the probability of getting a result or an x-bar that far from the assumed mean. Now that means the assumed mean probably isn't true uh, because I have such a small p-value, it's less than 10%, so I reject the null hypothesis. And, and our conclusion is we conclude that 98.6 degrees is not the average body temperature. It's not. Okay.